welcome back. Today I have an original build for you. This is a Beverly Hills mansion for a family of five. It was requested by Magenta Mink, so I have built this for her. It is a rather large home. It's four levels. I believe it's five bedrooms, and I'm not quite sure how many bathrooms are in it, actually. But this is one of the largest builds I've done as far as homes go, um, you know, not including the hospital and office buildings and hotel and things like that. But as far as houses go, this is one of my largest for sure. So we're just kind of taking a look around the outside here and we'll look at it at night in just a minute too. I did want to make it like it was in the hills in Hollywood. And a lot of those homes have the, the tiled roofs or they have the uh, stone exterior. But you can see I have a double deck here on the outside and you'll see in that again in just a few minutes and you'll see what I've done with those. But I am very pleased with this build. I like how a lot of it turned out. I have used a lot of the new items from the Socialite update, but I've mixed it with older items as well. So when you come into the foyer here, the entryway, it's black and gold, and I've used that black and gold uh, wallpaper along with those paintings and the new gold lamps here. Then we have two doorways here. One goes to a coat closet, which also leads to a guest bath here, just a half bath. I've used the rose gold and some golds in there. And then the second doorway in the entryway leads to this. I put one of those dividers up there and then put a nice lamp and a plant behind it. And for some reason, this reminds me of like an old Hollywood movie, how they used to decorate and the things that they used to do. I love that screen there. It's so pretty. And then through that doorway, you come into the living area. It is a formal type living area. I have used the reds and the blacks and some beiges here along with the new red sofas and the black furniture. And I did purchase some of this artwork from the home store as well. Um, I've put some of the console tables there with the lamps on it, the new plants that came. I believe I purchased the plants with the artwork, if I'm not mistaken. And that beautiful new fireplace as the focal point in the room. And then we have two staircases there. One goes down to the basement and one to the second floor. Now there are two ways to get into the kitchen. One is from the living room, and I've done black and white and red here. I love how the colors pop in this kitchen. I love how you can see the red wallpaper underneath that white stove hood there. I think it looks so pretty. We have two double ovens because they do entertain a lot, along with having three children and two refrigerators there. And you can go through this doorway here or through the doorway from the entryway into the dining room. I've kept this very simple as far as the dining room goes because this is just the room to eat in. I did put one of the bar carts over there in the corner and one of the new um, plants there along with the light fixture there just to center over the table. And then coming through this doorway here, we have a little lounge with a bar. So this would be where the parents maybe could come and relax after dinner and have a drink and listen to music. So I wanted to include that little area there and you could have the little view of the flowers there too. So I believe that's all of the first level there. We will go over the furniture placement and the grid last. So coming up the staircase here, we come up into a little hallway and then you go right. Oh, and you can see down through there too. I made it all glassed in. Come over to the right where the staircase to the third floor is, but it's also the entrance to the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is huge, it's many rooms. The first room, it almost reminds me of a very posh hotel where you have a little seating area here with the TV, we have a coat rack, and then I've placed some of that artwork on either side with one of the new tables there. So that would just be an area for the parents to watch TV, and then we have the bedroom itself where I've used the black and gold and gray furniture and two light fixtures on either side of the dresser there and then this is the master closet very nice closet and then yeah I put one of those mirrors in there I had the hardest time finding those mirrors until I realized that it's in the hobby section so 
coming back through the sitting area through this door we're going to come to a two-part master bath here we have the tub and the sink on this side and I put one of those nice black wall panels there and on this side of it we have a toilet and a double shower I've used the gold colored it says brown but it's really a gold colored wallpaper so coming through this doorway in the master, you're going to come out onto this porch area where I've put that nice seating area with the chandelier over it so that at nighttime from the exterior especially, you can see that area lit up. And I just love that. I love and I put the balcony around it. So I think that concludes the master suite. But coming back through this hallway back here, right around where the stairs go downstairs, you're going to come into the daughter's suite all of the kids have their own areas so i wanted to not make it too kid like the kids are older but if you wanted to recreate the home of course you could make it for different age groups or whatever you wanted to do but magenta wanted this to be for a family of five so i've done three older children and the parents and that is her closet there she has her purses and shoes and her products and her clothes and then coming through this door she just has the little bathroom here so she has her own ensuite there and then that would be all of the second level there so then coming back around the home here we had that staircase near the master that leads up to the third floor you're going to come up the staircase and immediately go into a doorway here. And in that room is a second, like a kitchenette. And I've included two fridges. One is for wine, one is for drinks. We have a water machine and a place to have snacks here. And I need to fix that bar stool. <laughs> so this is here because next door to it, we have a beautiful place for people to go and watch movies but I wanted you to get a better look at how I arranged that room there so coming through that door here is the movie room I did not put the large uh, home theater in there I wanted to put the big screen TV because it's three spaces wide and it would match up on the other side with the width of the bar and then I wrapped the two sofas around put the red lamps and a gold coffee table so I think this room is one of my favorites and then coming out here we have the deck remember the one that was underneath where the master is that had the seating area up here I've put the fireplace and I just love how that looks and it just shines right through into that TV area so then coming through this other doorway in the kitchen you're going to come out on the opposite side of the staircase into another small hallway and now we're going to enter the boys areas so the first boy is the oldest he has his own little entrance here with a table and a lamp and one of those paintings and then you come through the doorway here and you're going to enter his bedroom area where i've used the blue king size bed and I found out today that that karate thing is actually a lamp. How many years have I played? Seven, and I never knew it lit up until today. So he has a stereo and a TV, his closet here. And then through this door, we come to a Jack and Jill bath. So this bathroom is shared by both boys. That's why there are two doors there. There's a double shower, a double vanity, a toilet, and a tub. So coming back to the hallway, through another doorway here you're going to see his closet you're just going to pass through his closet area here where he hangs his things and this is for a preteen boy again you can change these rooms out but I just gave him everything he needed in here and he has a beautiful view he has a lot of windows in his room and I've used that urban bed there and matched it up with an ottoman where he can sit and play his games and he has a stereo there and a computer so that is the third level of the home. Now we're going to go back down the staircase and then come around and then down the staircase <laughs> and then down the next one. And we come to a very narrow hallway here. And then on the left, we have the laundry area. The basement is reserved for the maid, the housekeeper, which she's really more than that. She oversees everything in the home. She has her own space down here. Now, if you weren't going to build it for this type of family, 
you could do anything you wanted. You could expand the room and make it a recreational room or whatever you wanted to do. So we're gonna take an overall look at the home. Before we do that though, I kinda wanna show you the outside because we have this little TV here. Normally I put them on the side of the home, but I wanted it to be near this bar area, this little eating area, which I have put right on the edge of the pool. I think it would be really neat to sit on the edge of the pool and eat. So then we have these recliners there that you saw on the pool area. So let's look at the furniture placement here. We have the room in the front, the lounge, the dining area. We have the entryway and the kitchen. And then we have the living room here. And then we have, we said the entryway. We have that little entrance to the living room there where that screen is, the coat closet and the half bath. So let's go to the grid real quick. Again, you can always take screenshots or just run it back or slow it down, however you want to do it, if you want to recreate it. I just wanted to give you a look at how the rooms are here. And you're gonna have to bear with me with my voice today. You know from my video yesterday where I just played music that i um, been a little under the weather. I'm feeling fine, but I hate to talk and talk and talk because uh, after a while the voice goes back out again so I hope that doesn't happen before we're finished but that's the basement there now we're gonna pop up to the second floor look at the furniture real quick you can see how I put the staircases there the girls room her closet and her bathroom and then that's where the wall stops there because in front of that is going to be part of the master suite remember so then we have the staircase that goes up but we have the master entryway here with the tv area we have the first part of the master bath and then we have the second part of the master bath and then we have the actual bedroom itself as well as the patio area with all the doorways that's over top of that lounge area downstairs and then we have the master closet here and then over here, wrapping around the hallways, we have the girls' room. We have her closet and then her bathroom. So that is the second floor there. We'll look at the grid real quick so you can get a better idea of how I built it. And this was a room by room build, by the way. I did start with that uh, great room that you saw, the living area downstairs. That's where I started. I completely did that room except for the staircases and then I figured out where I wanted to put the kitchen and all of that and then that's when I put the staircases in it down there and built the home around that which if you've watched my room by room series you see how I plan ahead one room but I don't decorate that room until the first room is finished just looking at the grid here on the top floor and there's the hallway there and the upstairs kitchenette the movie room, and that balcony there with the fireplace. And there's the furniture placement. We have that kitchen again. And you can see the doorways on either side of the staircase. I had actually um, forgotten to put a door there and the staircase was all the way to the end and I had to go back and fix that. But when you're touring, sometimes that happens to where you notice little things that you might have forgotten, especially in a large build. So that's the home. I really hope you like it. I put a lot of work into this one. So thank you so much, Magenta Mink. I really appreciate this request. This was a majorly fun build, especially now that we got this new Socialite update when we got it i didn't know that you were next on the list so when i saw your request for beverly hills mansion for family of five that could not have been better timing so if you guys like this please give me a like and if you're new here welcome if you're not welcome back but if you are please consider checking out all my other videos i have a lot of remodels i have original builds and a series or two for you to take a look at so thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you on my next video.